embarking on a journey from the mysterious depths of darkness. Through the formation of galaxies and the dance of stars, entering into the dimension of time. A cosmic tale unfolding into the starlit dawn. Witnessing the astronomical spectacle blooming within the embrace of the galaxy. The primal light illuminating the cosmic abyss. Conveying the celestial whispers as celestial bodies dance in the galaxy. Sharing the moment of birth of stars, the festival of their existence. Immersing oneself in the fleeting beauty of the blazing stars. Soaring into the sky to seek our dreams. Unfolding the clandestine stories of the galaxy. Subscribing, liking, and turning on notifications greatly empower the video production process. Today, in the third lesson of Introduction to Cosmology, we will learn about the formation of galaxies and the birth of stars. Formation of Galaxies Post-Big Bang Expansion After the Big Bang, the universe expanded explosively, maintaining high energy and temperature. Quantum fluctuations and early irregularities Quantum effects such as quantum fluctuations introduce irregularities in the early universe, influencing the formation of the initial structure of galaxies. Action of gravity and galaxy clusters Gravity causes galaxies to come together, forming structures. A galaxy is a vast system where numerous celestial bodies, including stars, gas, and dust, gather. Birth and death of stars Birth of stars, the contraction of molecular clouds under gravity initiates the birth of stars. During the contraction process, nuclear fusion occurs in the central region due to increased temperature and pressure. Nuclear fusion and stellar energy Nuclear fusion is the process where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing energy. Consequently, stars emit light and heat. Stellar life cycle, stars generate energy through nuclear fusion, converting hydrogen into helium. The progression of this process varies based on the size of the star. In general, smaller stars stabilize into sizes similar to the Sun, while larger stars end in a supernova explosion, releasing Herculean amounts of energy. Supernova explosion and formation of new elements. Supernovae occur as a result of large stars reaching the end of their lifespan, and the explosion leads to the creation of new elements and their release into the universe. Through these processes, galaxies are composed of stars of various sizes, each with its unique life cycle. In his book A Brief History of Time, Dr. Stephen Hawking delves into the formation of the universe, the birth, and death of stars, combining quantum physics and general relativity to present a modern understanding of the origin and evolution of the cosmos. Big Bang Theory and Quantum Fluctuations Hawking explains the Big Bang within the realm of quantum gravity, emphasizing quantum effects like quantum fluctuations. Through this, he seeks to comprehend the quantum nature of the early universe. Role of Black Holes and Birth of Stars Black holes introduce a new perspective on the birth and lifespan of stars through the concept of Hawking radiation. As stars collapse under gravity, black holes form, exhibiting quantum phenomena and emitting new forms of energy. Progression of Time in the Universe In a brief history of time, Hawking explores the concept of the progression of the universe and the flow of time. Through theories of black holes, quantum gravity, and the directionality of history, he aims to explain the intricate phenomena of the universe. Hawking's approach combines classical physics with quantum physics, attempting to find a unified theory for the origin and phenomena of the universe. Quantum Gravity Theory The quantum gravity theory is an endeavor to integrate general relativity, a classical explanation of gravity, and quantum mechanics, a quantum theory dealing with the particle nature of matter. However, as of now, a fully unified quantum gravity theory has not been developed. The primary challenge of quantum gravity lies in the fact that quantum effects are not prominently observed at very weak scales, extremely small particles, where gravity is involved. General relativity is highly effective in explaining large-scale gravitational phenomena, while quantum mechanics is more suitable for very small scales. However, at extremely high energy states where gravity is very strong, quantum gravity effects become significant, particularly in contexts related to the internal structure of black holes or the formation of the universe before the Big Bang. Hawking radiation Hawking radiation is a concept proposed by Stephen Hawking in 1974, representing quantum mechanical effects occurring around black holes. Traditionally, black holes were thought to absorb everything and emit no light. However, Hawking suggested that due to quantum effects, a slight radiation would be emitted in the vicinity of a black hole. This radiation is based on the creation of quantum particle-antiparticle pairs near the black hole, with one particle being drawn into the black hole and the other being emitted outward. This phenomenon is interpreted as light being emitted from the black hole, and Hawking radiation explains the gradual evaporation of black holes due to this process. Hawking radiation serves as an example of quantum gravity effects occurring near a black hole, 
contributing to our understanding of quantum gravity and black hole physics. After the Big Bang, the generation of energy and the characteristics of particles in the early universe are explained based on the core concepts of the standard model and particle physics. Energy generation and the early universe. Immediately after the Big Bang, the universe possessed extremely high energy and temperature. This energy was generated through quantum effects such as quantum fluctuations in the highly energetic state. Standard model and particle physics. The standard model is a theory used in particle physics, explaining the fundamental particles and their interactions. Basic particles in the standard model include quarks, leptons, and gauge bosons, which exhibit specific characteristics and interact through different forces. The Higgs boson holds a crucial position in the standard model. It plays a role in allowing other particles to acquire mass. Higgs mechanism and mass acquisition. The Higgs boson, through the Higgs mechanism, provides a mechanism for particles to acquire mass. According to this mechanism, particles initially had no mass in the early universe, and the appearance of the Higgs field and Higgs boson allows particles to gain mass. Breaking of symmetry. Initially, there was symmetry among the particles in the standard model. However, as the universe cooled, the Higgs mechanism operated, breaking the symmetry and allowing particles to acquire mass. In this way, the energy generation and the standard model of particle physics in the early Big Bang play a crucial role in understanding the formation and evolution of the modern universe. The Higgs boson and the Higgs mechanism play a decisive role in explaining the physical phenomena we observe by enabling particles to have mass. String theory is one of the high-energy physics theories used to understand the origin and formation of the universe. Theoretically, string theory may be suitable for describing the extreme conditions of the early universe. Overview of string theory String theory assumes strings or one-dimensional objects as the fundamental building blocks of the universe. These strings are incredibly tiny and their vibrations and shapes determine various particles and forces in the universe. High energy state of strings String theory posits that it existed in a high energy state in the early universe. The universe before the Big Bang had extremely high energy and temperature, and strings are assumed to have emerged and interacted in this environment. Strings in high energy state and formation of the universe. As strings are entangled and interact in a high energy state, quantum effects like quantum fluctuations occur along with the initial formation of the universe. Vibrations and shapes of strings transform into various particles, leading to the creation and interaction of particles. Breaking of initial symmetry. String theory suggests that initial symmetry existed but was broken in a high energy state, giving rise to the diversity of particles and forces in the modern universe. Universe expansion. String theory assumes that even after the Big Bang, the vibrations and interactions of strings continued to shape and evolve the structure and characteristics of the universe. String theory is a novel, experimentally unverified theory that presents intriguing hypotheses, especially in the context of quantum gravity. However, it remains a developing theory, requiring further research and experimentation. Simulation theory is one approach used to model and explain the origin and evolution of the universe. Here, we'll briefly explore how simulation theory can be used to describe the formation of the universe. Initial condition setting. Simulations start by setting the initial conditions of the universe after the Big Bang. This involves modeling the initial state and energy distribution following the Big Bang. Application of physical laws. Simulations use physical laws to model the evolution of the universe over time. Various forces such as gravity, electromagnetism, strong force, weak force, and interactions between particles are considered. Particle simulation. Particle simulations model how different particles interact and evolve. This helps understand the formation and development of entities like stars, galaxies, and dark matter. Expansion of the universe. Simulations model how the size and structure of the universe change with its expansion. Expansion is a characteristic feature of the early universe post Big Bang. Progression after the Big Bang. Simulations continuously model how the universe evolves over time after the Big Bang. This provides insights into the current state of the universe and predictions for its future. Simulation theory relies on numerical modeling, making it crucial to compare its results with experimental outcomes to enhance reliability. By utilizing high-performance computers to model numerous particles and complex interactions, simulation theory expands our understanding of the origin and evolution of the universe. Simulation theory and intelligent design theory are two different approaches used to explain the origin and evolution of the universe. Let's examine the key differences between these two theories. Simulation theory. Modeling and simulation. 
Simulation theory is an approach that seeks to understand the evolution of the universe by modeling phenomena or systems and simulating them using computer-based simulations. It involves mimicking specific aspects of the universe according to the laws of physics. Data-driven approach, simulation theory develops models based on observable data and experimental results, allowing the recreation and prediction of specific situations in the universe. Intelligent design theory. Artificial intelligence and intelligent design. Intelligent design theory uses principles of artificial intelligence and intelligent design to explain the origin and evolution of the universe. It focuses on entities possessing intelligent features or purposeful design. Intervention by intelligent designer. In intelligent design theory, it is assumed that an intelligent designer, a being with intelligence, intervened or designed the structure and development of the universe. Key differences. Simulation theory simulates the evolution of the universe based on physical laws and experimental data using computer models. Intelligent design theory emphasizes the intervention or intention of an intelligent designer to explain the structure and development of the universe. These two theories are based on different philosophies and assumptions, providing different perspectives on explaining the origin and evolution of the universe. Yes, creation science is often associated with intelligent design. Creation science represents attempts to explain the origin of the universe and life by combining principles of natural science with creative intervention. It often incorporates religious or faith-based premises. The association between intelligent design and creation science. Intelligent design, both intelligent design and creation science emphasize the concept of intelligent design. They claim that the complexity of the universe and life is designed or intervened by some form of intelligence. Teleological design. Creation science often puts forth arguments about teleological design, asserting that the universe and living beings have a purpose. This reflects religious or faith-based beliefs regarding the purpose of the universe. Biblical basis. Creation science often relies on the Bible or other religious scriptures as a scientific interpretation base. It is an attempt to integrate scientific perspectives with religious or faith-based beliefs. However, it's essential to note that there is a significant gap between intelligent design, creation science, and other recognized scientific fields within the scientific community. Creation science is often considered to have little or no scholarly value in the scientific realm, and perspectives like intelligent design may not meet scientific criteria. Balancing beliefs and scholarly research remains a continuous topic of debate in scientific and religious communities. Parallel Universe and Multiverse Theory – Exploring the Concepts in Modern Physics Parallel Universe Theory Multiverse, Many Worlds The Parallel Universe Theory is based on the concept of the multiverse, suggesting the existence of multiple parallel universes that evolve independently of each other. Quantum Fluctuation Quantum fluctuations, rooted in the uncertainty principle of physics, explain the realization of one possibility out of many in a quantum state. This leads to the generation of parallel universes with different initial conditions. Quantum Entanglement Quantum entanglement suggests that a particle in a quantum state can exist in multiple states simultaneously, implying the existence of multiple universes concurrently. Multiverse theory. Inflation theory. Multiverse theory is primarily associated with the inflation theory, which explains the rapid expansion of the early universe. According to this theory, various regions with different initial conditions form parallel universes during this inflationary process. Hubble bubble. The Hubble bubble concept proposes that specific regions, rather than the entire universe, undergo a separate expansion process, creating isolated parallel universes. String theory and brain worlds. Multiverse theory also intersects with string theory. In string theory, higher dimensional spaces are considered, suggesting the existence of diverse parallel universes. Parallel universes and multiverse theories remain speculative and lack direct experimental verification. Scientific validation is essential, and these concepts continue to be subjects of scholarly debate in the scientific community.